Hi, I can introduce myself. <laughs> Teresa Pibeweed, President of the Senate, and certainly a friend and supporter of day one. I want to recognize my colleagues from the House and kind of begin where I'm going to end with, I hope that you know uh, that you have the support of both chambers at, with any legislative uh, changes that are needed for the protocols. Governor Raimondo has been a leader on this and many issues. Um, and her staff, Jamie McDonald and DCYF, are critical to the success of this initiative. I, too, want to recognize the uh, role that the state police and the province police have paid, uh, played in the development of these protocols, as well as uh, Hasbro Children's Hospital and uh, Dr. Barron, Dr. Christine Barron. I know earlier, later, we're going to also hear from a trafficking survivor, Danielle, and a mentor coordinator at day one, and we look forward to hearing from you. I am happy to be here today, and it is important to support the work of day one, but it's also one of those opportunities where we recognize our partners at the state, federal, and local law enforcement, the state social service agencies and health professionals, as we see that a multidisciplinary pro approach is developed. Uh, to address this growing problem, not just in Rhode Island, but in New England. The collaboration and leadership among all of you has, create, has provided the basis for this statewide protocol. It will serve as a resource for victims, advocates, social service providers, healthcare providers, law enforcement, and prosecutors. This protocol will guide each and every one of them as they detect and investigate trafficking, how they prosecute crimes, and assist victims in their recovery. As the governor stated, this is an issue which has only recently had individuals comfortable with coming forward, and I too would recognize Judge Fort and Judge Bedrosian's conference with talking about this. If we are to combat the commercial sexual exploitation of our children, education, awareness, and training are critical. The streamlined approach that we're going to uh, hear about today, combined with the efforts of the Rhode Island Human Trafficking Task Force, will give our state an upper hand in addressing this issue. In fact, the work that the task force has done has already led to the identification of more victims, and I expect this to only grow with the implementation of the protocol. We are here to support uh, the efforts that you've made. And I do believe that this protocol will go a long way towards protecting our children. And I look forward to continuing to work together with you to protect our children, our daughters, granddaughters, friends, neighbors, and make our community safer. It is an issue that often escapes the public conscience because it's not easy to talk about. But I, too, want to echo the governor's sentiment that these are all of our children and thank you for the work you do every day to protect them and make them safer. Thank you.